Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to introduce you to hydrostatics. We're going to be focusing on pressure in this video. Uh, there, we will cover forces, hydrostatic forces, more extensively in another topic. So looking at pressure variation in a stationary fluid, so as the name would suggest, hydrostatics deals with stationary fluids, and hydrostatics depends on three things. There is no horizontal pressure change in a fluid, to that hydrostatics is defined by the change in pressure uh, with Z equaling negative rho G and the pressure at a depth is given by P equal to PO plus rho G H so just remember that there is no horizontal pressure um, and these are the two equations that you really need to know um, and I'll show you how exactly we got uh, this second equation here, we use the first, so you can always derive the second from the first, so you really need to only utilize this one. So all we have to do is integrate dp on dz and negative rho g. So we integrate both of, both of those, we'll get p equals negative rho gz plus some constant. Um, if we assume that at z equal to 0, p equals some pressure, so the pressure on top of the fluid is PO, then uh, p equals PO minus rho gz. Now if we change uh, where what points we're considering in the fluid, say z goes from top to bottom, H goes from bottom to top. Uh, Z would be negative as we go down the fluid, uh, but H would be positive. So uh, we know that H equals negative Z. So we can change our P in terms of H, just to make it simpler. So we're going from bottom to top, rho G H. So that's how we get that final equation there, the third one. So we're just going to be using these three uh, points in all our hydrostatic pressure problems. Now measuring pressure, I'll introduce you to uh, gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is simply the total pressure minus atmospheric pressure. Total pressure is sometimes referred to as absolute pressure. And uh, atmospheric pressure is a constant 101.3 kilopascals. You'll usually be given that, but it's handy just to remember. And we use a few different devices to measure pressure. Uh, there's the barometer, piezometer, and YouTube manometer, which will run into a lot of problems regarding the YouTube manometer. So